me in deep trouble again as it clashed heavily with governors over fraud of 418 million fee. The Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, has accused the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abuba Kamalami, over alleged involvement in the controversial 418 million request by consultants regarding the Paris Club report. This was contained in a statement issued by its head of media and public affairs, Abdul Razak Bello, back in Do and obtained by our reporters on Monday. The controversial payment of the sum of $418 million to consultants had become a contending issue between the three tiers of government. A federal high court in Abuja had on Friday stopped the federal government from deducting $418 million from the bank account of the 36 states of the Federation. Belu Bakindu said the decision of the AGF to throw its weight behind the consultant who had been battling desperately to grab $418 million from the account of states and local governments raises questions of propriety and the spirit of justice. The attention of the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, has been drawn to a statement issued by the media to the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF Umar Gwandu, on Friday in support of deduction of homogeneous state resource amounting to $418 million from the Federation account, the statement reads. My dear listeners, if you ask me, I will tell you straight forward that Malami should be sent to jail. You see, if something doesn't happen, you will not know that this person is, 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 is committing a, or has committed a particular offense. You know what? exposed this Malami. What exposed this Malami is Nambekano's trial. That very error he committed, that very error he committed uh, in Nambekano's extradition is what exposed him. I'm telling you. And if you um, look deep down, if you still um, go down very well, you still see more faults in Malami. You still see more faults in Malami. You understand? It's just that this too much familiarity between him and uh, Ambuari is what is covering his sins. It's what is covering his sins. But if you decide to give it a proper look, you will see that Malami is not truly that person that you think that he is. He is the devil incarnate. You understand? He is the devil incarnate. He is not someone to be, uh, to be reckoned with. He is not someone to be looked up, look up to in any way at all. You don't need to even uh, observe him or give him any uh, any second second thoughts at all. You get it. So that is why I would say to anyone uh, that has anything to do with him to give him a distance before you get the person uh, implicated. Look at the. Look, look at the huge sum, $418 million. Let me tell you, Malami have, have a hand in that, in that money. Proper investigation should be carried out, and you will see, and, and you will see that, that Malami somehow, sometime, 
may have, you know, may have demanded for a particular court before giving that, assigning or signing that amount of money to that very uh, consulting firm. You see that? So, um, I would say with a lot of conviction that Malami knows something about that money. So, he should not be given that, uh, that chance to go scot free. Proper in fact, Malami have escaped so many fraudulent acts and, uh, and offense. You know? And it has, it has been Bwari that has been covering him up and you know you know taking advantage of the whole thing you understand but this time around worry is no longer i don't think worry wants to cover him up anymore worry on his own is even planning to take him out of office you understand so it should be observed it should be observed you should not forget the fact that he's a minister of justice a fraudulent minister of justice, that's who he is. A fraudulent one at that. So, let us uh, be very, very mindful and careful with people of this of this calibre. Because they can be very, very implicated. So, finally, finally, my opinion and suggestion is that Malami should be sent to jail. He knows how to send people to jail. So he should be sent to jail. He should be sent to jail. He should not be given that space. He should not be given that chance. Do you understand? He should not. In any way at all. He should not. Because he has eaten more than he can chew. Enough is enough for Malami. So let me hear you speak anyway from the outside to know what you have to say. Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.